Well, hello everybody. John Grimsmo here. It is Monday morning, May 17, 16, 16. Um, as always, super excited to get into work. I had a good quiet weekend with the family. Um, my wife and Eric and I, we went out and watched Captain America last night uh, at the theaters. That was exciting. That was really good. I liked it. Today, I want to talk to you guys about the rule of pi. I think I came up with this, but I consume so much from other people that I, I don't want to take absolute credit for it. I might have heard it somewhere else, but I think I came up with it. I don't know. Um, my rule of pi, what it means to me, is that everything is going to take 3.14 times longer than I think it's going to take. And it's going to cost 3.14 times what I think it's going to cost. And the more I use that rule, the more accurate I find it to be. Because I'm, I'm terrible at estimating my own time schedules. And that's just me. Um, I don't know where it comes from. I don't know why I can't get over it. I don't know why I can't seem to improve. But, you know, I think it's going to take six hours. And it ends up taking 18 hours. Or whatever. You know, I think it's going to be a quick job. And it ends up taking me all day. And the, I don't know. I... I don't know why it does it, and projects always cost more than I budget them out to be. Um, let me know if that's just me, or if that's like some of you guys too. I mean, I know some guys are super in tune with their own time schedules, and they're, you know, bang, 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 quick with uh, with timing out projects and like estimating their cash flow and time allotted and all that, and they can just plan. I'm not great at that. And that's just me. Um, I, why does it take me so much longer? I don't know. I find uh, that I get distracted sometimes as I am when I'm driving right now, trying to get through an intersection. (laughs) Um, I do find it easy to get distracted. Um, procrastinate like I I literally remember learning the word procrastinate in grade school and having to use it in a sentence and I will not procrastinate on this homework Um, but I still do it you know I I, sometimes I find it more fun to work on my number two three or four project instead of my number one project and I can't explain why it's stupid logic you know why wouldn't I rather work on my number one project? Because it's my number one thing. I mean, Gary Keller has an excellent book called The One Thing. And in it, he basically says, uh, there's no such thing as priorities. There is priority. And there should be nothing else. Only one priority at a time. Um, I need to check that book out again, because it was really good. But yeah, I do procrastinate. I, I do get sucked into projects. I love a challenge, and I love to challenge myself. And when I get sucked into a project, even if it's a number two, three, or four project, I give it my all, and I get totally consumed by it. And it's not until after six straight hours of working in Fusion that I look back and I go, crap, that's not important today. It is important. Like, as soon as possible, really, but... If it waits for another few weeks, it's not the end of the world. It's not my thing today. Um, it doesn't give us knives out the door today. And that's that's what happened uh, yesterday morning, Sunday. I was up at 6 a.m. And I got six solid hours of, of Fusion design time on some fixtures and some other things that I've been meaning to work on. I still didn't finish them. I thought it would be a quick job. But I, you know... I just get sucked into it in all the minutiae of design. I love it, but I get to the end of it after six hours and I'm like, crap, that was, that, I I don't feel like I got a lot done in that time because I, I I didn't finish and I can't apply it today. Um, so I'm kind of not disappointed. Like I accept that that's who I am, but kind of disappointed. You know, I should have chosen, I should have known better and chosen something more worthy to work on now like prioritize what's important now and what's important later Um, what is it Stephen Covey 
Uh, Seven Habits of Highly Successful People came up with a four quadrant to do list. And who's that other guy? There's an excellent Rand, Randy Posh, P A U S H E, something like that, um, has an excellent speech at, uh, I forget, um, at a university where he's talking about the four quadrant to do list. And it's like, um, do, do now, do later. Like, what, what is do now? Um, do now, do later, and important and not important. And you, you put it together in the four quadrant to-do list. And that thing that you have to do, you put it, and if it's do later and not important, well, you just don't do it. Even if it's exciting and interesting. But if it's important and do now, you can't deny the logic. Like, do it. So, I need to try that again. How about I try that today? I'm going to do the four quadrant to-do list. I haven't thought about that in a while. Um, but yeah, I, I really need to choose my battles better. And somebody commented, um, I think it was Greg's machine, Greg's shop, Greg's garage, something like that. Uh, they commented and they said, don't deny the fact that all of your side projects and all of your distractions and everything you've done to date has made you who you are. And I completely agree with that. Um, I, I have no regrets. I wouldn't change a single thing in my past. But moving forward, I get the choice to be better, to improve, to choose my battles better, wiser, and choose battles that I can win, uh, you know, 10x. So, yeah, I'm learning with that. Um, you know, I'm constantly trying to learn and understand who I am and how I operate and, you know, what makes me authentic, what makes me exactly who. I am inside and how I tick and and work within the limits of how I tick. I suck at a lot of things and I'm realizing that that's okay. You know, I I love to challenge myself and I love to get better at the things I suck at, but when I don't really get better at them, then I start to realize why am I trying to polish a turd and, you know, learn accounting when I suck at accounting and I hate it. Do what I'm really good at and I really enjoy and maximize that, so... So yeah, my rule of pi, 3.14 times longer, and it's going to cost 3.14 times times more um, expensive, and you may be different, but that's how I roll, that's how I operate, I don't know why, um, I'd like to understand it better, but let me know in the comments if any of you guys are the same, and maybe we can help each other and, and get more effective, because in the end, it's all about getting the right stuff done as soon as possible in the best manner that you can. I mean, I'm a total perfectionist, but I I don't want to sacrifice my perfectionism. I just want to do it better and faster. (laughs) So, I don't know. Let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with I don't know what topic yet. I'll pick it out. Later. Bye.